hello welcome back to another lesson i thank you for your time i am very happy to bring to you this lesson if today is your first time stopping by if today is your first time seeing this beautiful natural face my name is Nana Bema and I welcome you to my channel if you are a returning subscriber you are much appreciated this lesson is about the neutral types of cloth that you can give out that you can wear that will not raise eyebrows most of the cloth on the market do not have names because years back the clothes were the clothes in ghana were from gtmc atl and then gtp yeah these three manufacturers in holland for atl was producing if it's a kufu it was produced only by atl but with the influx of a uh, high target and the rest those ones do not have names and some years back those who were selling the high targets with the gtp and atl designs were arrested because of patent rights yeah in music it's called copyright but it yes it's patent right so high targets Odin, not Woodin, Odin, A U D, and those people do not have the license to use these logos. That is the design. So the sellers used to be arrested. Our first cloth that we have is the Onyame Ayamame. The Onyame Ayamame does, but we we cut it short by saying the Onyame Ayamame. It's to be followed by Okunupa or Kumpa. Kumpa. This cloth is a perfect gift idea for your husband. If your husband is generous, if your husband is caring, if you want to praise your husband for who he is to you and your children, this is the type of cloth that you can give him or you as the woman you can parade yourself you can you can dress in this for the world to know that yes you have a supportive husband for everybody to know and so if there is okunupa then obviously there is a virtuous woman or papa that is the name of this cloth and the small small axe it symbolizes the various virtues of the woman dazimpedia that is how the francis call it dazimpedia and the tree speaking community call it dadiempa so we call it impedria impedria there shall be showers of blessing, showers of blessing, mercy drops run and self falling, but for the showers we plead. Educro Monsieur, Educro Monsieur, can I come in your day? I was saying, Mamma, no. Da 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 da. Edu kwa muzi ya kona kona. Other chain, other chain. High life. This cloth came at the time of high life, at the inception of high life. So it was named high life. Onyami enewa, onyami enewa. Ihu bibia. Abankaba, abankaba. Reminds us that no one is above the law. Akofana in Chemfre in Chemfre. I do not have any literature on this lipstick, lipstick, salad, salad, Congo Ahabang, Congo Ahabang, Kwame Nkrumah pencil. This was named in honor of Kwame Nkrumah's intelligence or wisdom. Ahimfi, Ahimfi, Obon Quentia. 
Obonkwentia. Obo is a town in the eastern region. It is the most beautiful towns in the Kwa traditional area and one of the beautiful cities in Ghana. So I'm not surprised that this particular cloth was named after the town Obo. Dice. Dice. The Everest call it Pequin. I hope I got the pronunciation well. Pequi. It stands for the need to make good and wise decisions. Yao Donko. Yao Donko. He was a rich man. I cannot say whether he was the richest man in Ghana, but as I have mentioned already, these clothes are named by the originator. So it could be that the one that designed this Yao Donko was the richest man in his family, in his community, uh -huh, in his time. So the cloth is called Yao Donko. Does this cloth need any introduction? Angelina, 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 why you want to do me so? A kufu, a kufu, and that is what I am wearing. A kufu was named after the then president of Ghana, Nana Ado's father, Anansentin time, Anansentin time. So if the spider can take time to make this web, then it means you and I need to be patient in life. Subra, Subra, Subra simply means a well. And the orange depicts when you throw a stone into the water, the bubbles that comes. So the bubbles are the small, small dots. Trabinkum, Trabinkum. I couldn't get any literature on this cloth. I heard a poor. I read the poem. The gun says means mobota moshe, and it stands for the roller coasters of life. In life, you sometimes would have to to learn to stand, to learn to walk, to learn to run, and sometimes something will pull you back. And uh -huh. so everything about life, that is what this cloth depicts. Zamra makete, zamra makete, kufia na ajene. Kofianai Adrene. This was to honor Kofianai's wisdom or achievement. And then Asobaire daughter. Asobaire. Asobaire is the most expensive yam in Ghana. This is called Felicia. Felicia. Amasewa. Amasewa was the queen mother of Jabin. So this cloth was named in her Anna followed by Koforidia flowers Koforidia flowers in Ghana when an elderly comes to your house and mentions there's a flower it means a lady or a woman so the the cloth was named in honor of the beautiful woman some years back history has it that Koforidia had beautiful women and so this cloth was named in their honor. With this, I come to the end of our lesson for today. Did you enjoy it? Which of these cloth would you love to own or to give out? And why is that your choice? I want to know in the comment section, did you know the names of these cloth before? Which of them is new to you? I want to know everything that is going on in your mind at this time. Before I go, I want to plead that whenever you say a prayer, don't forget to say one for me. I leave you with the peace and the message of the Most High. Peace, Oya, respond. Shalom. Chop kiss.